Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. You hear about these diets all the time. No carbs, no fruit, no vegetables. We have somebody here with much better diet advice. Drew Barrymore, the Santa Clarita Diet. How interesting was it for you? I mean, for years, since the 1950s, we've been fascinated with this concept of zombies, people who yeah. eat blood. Where does that fit into your Well, I, lately, somebody, people have been saying like, oh, you're a cannibal on your show. And I was always like, no, we're not cannibals. And Victor Fresco, the writer-creator, finally said it in a way that made sense to me. He goes, cannibals eat by choice. And zombies have to eat flesh to survive. And I was like, well, that's two very different <laughs> intentions. So I like being the woman who has to like, get through it rather than she's just a mean, horrible person you can't root for. Her. But it's fascinating too, an examination of marriage because you think there are obstacles in a marriage and this, the husband, what he's willing to accommodate to pacify his wife. And who are we to say if you were married to someone for 25 years and they really were like your world and your partner for life, and if you ultimately said to yourself, just like you say on the day you got married, like it is forever, well then what do you do? You have to work through the problems. <laughs> you know, it's funny, as, as little kids we love to get in mud and we love to get dirty. As we get older, we want to be a little more pristine. Right. And in this movie, God knows the no. makeup effects No, messier, messier, bloodier, vomit, gore. It was so fun. What oh is God. that experience I like? I mean, because most people are not going to have to vomit on camera. Oh, I love it. And I like making vomit noises. It's really fun. Um, I, I got to do like a whole long take where I just did different retching sounds over and over. Like, um, so yeah, I, I give my kids little like machines too that make silly noises, like little sound machines. And once a farting one, it's funny. Found, sounds can be funny. I mean, you started making your first movie, you did television commercials for your first movie, and you were like six or seven years old, but never a TV series. So why, yeah. what at this point do you think TV is offering to you as an actor that you didn't have before? Well, I think this TV is different because it's streaming. It's not like network television with act breaks and, you know, a lot of networks and a lot of studios, they have a lot of money on the line and they have to you know, be very responsible for that. So there's a different attitude that goes with that. And I will say, specifically working with Netflix, they have a tremendous amount of confidence. And so you get to play a lot more and you get to play in a different format um, and with different rules. And I gotta say, that's making it real fun for me. Sweet, last question for you. I mean, as a mother of two beautiful little girls. My universe. Your oldest daughter is almost your age when you did E.T. Oh my God, it's Have true. Have they seen the movie? No, not yet. I'm gonna show them soon. I was just waiting till, I don't know. You can't put a number on when I'm gonna choose to show the kids stuff. It's, it'll, it's just that feeling, that time in life and that moment, but it's coming soon. It's like ever after E.T. I think in a few and years Charlie's for Santa Clarita Diet. A few years. Yeah, and when they're older, <laughs> Santa Clarita Diet. Mom, what were you what were, psychologically? What have you put us in? As always, Drew Barrymore. I love thank you, Scott. so much. Thank uh, you. Santa Clarita Diet, Drew Barrymore. This is Scott Orton. Until next time. Yeah.